I think when I, when I used to work for banks myself, we used to say a legacy system was any system once it had gone into production. So the day after it went live, it was already legacy. Um, a long time before that, we had this whole debate about whether mainframe computers were going to disappear. And we always used to joke that we put a big sign on the side of our mainframe computers which said enterprise server, and then everybody was happy. Um, I think the whole distinction between what's legacy and not legacy, frankly, has become irrelevant um, because it's very difficult and takes a lot of time and money to put in a core banking system or a, a major trading system. And having installed it, banks are not going to change them quickly. They may change some of the satellite systems, some of the channels around the edge. Um, for example, in mobile banking, we're seeing a pretty regular two to three year refresh cycle where even if the mobile banking solution works perfectly, the bank wants to refresh it because it wants to feel new and modern. But in terms of the core processing engines, banks are using them for years and years. Um, some of our customers have been on some of our products for 25, 30 years, and they still work, and they will continue to work. And not only us, but uh, the hardware and middleware vendors on whose products our software runs are continuing to support them. Um, and so I think systems just get older. I don't think it's a question of whether they're legacy, because that would imply there was a strict line between legacy and non-legacy. I, I just don't think that's true. I think systems just get older. And some, I think, we'll see even going even longer, because they still work, and the hardware still runs, and they're still able to do a good job. But around the edge, I think we will see a lot of innovation and a lot faster turnover.